Hey guys, so today's video is a character design. I thought it would be fun to create a character um, as if April Fool's Day was after a person um, and her name would be April Fool or F April Fools. Um, so yeah, that's what inspired this character design. And I started out making her with really curly hair um, and a jester hat and just kind of finished her out with a jester looking outfit. Um, <laughs> I did spend like a long time on getting her legs and feet right and I still don't think they're quite right but with it just being a character design not really a finalized design um, but just an idea I wasn't too worried about that I also added a baton as if she would twirl that and like all these pranks would happen or these mystical magical things that would go wrong unlucky things whenever she would twirl this or like throw it up in the air and catch it almost like her magic wand but it's a baton um and i almost made her joker-esque with her wide grin and also I guess reminiscent of Harley Quinn too. I didn't really mean to do that but she kind of just ended up that way. And then I decided to lay in watercolors before I continued with other things. I wasn't quite sure at this point if I wanted to do colored pencil or what over top of it, um, but in the past using this mixed media paper it's benefited me to lay down a layer of watercolor um, first so that it takes away kind of the graininess of the thick paper. So that was my method here is to just fill in the spots um, with what colors I saw them as being and then kind of tweak them later with whatever medium I chose to go over them. I did <laughs> towards the hat um, had some runoff of colors because I forgot the principles of watercolor where it kind of runs into where you've already placed water. Um, I don't use watercolors that often so I was kind of taken off guard by that and then just recovered a little bit and used it to my advantage to do shadows and highlights and stuff. Um, but yeah and I decided to make her hair this like frizzy red color. Um, like even drawing out the design, I wanted her hair that frizzy red color. Um, and I wasn't quite sure about the outfit, so I kind of just threw in some colors for that. And I like the color combinations I come out came out with, so yeah. And here is where I start bringing in my markers, my alcohol-based ink markers. Um, I used this one Winsor & Newton pull marker, and then the rest of these are the Blick Illustrator markers. And I decided to keep her face white and do the little cheek blushies type thing on her and almost make her like a mime but I don't know if you've seen those like carnival mask type um 
house decorations, but I kind of wanted her to look like that, where it's, I find them really creepy, um, but I know some people like them, um, that carnival-esque kind of thing, um, but I just thought it added a different factor to her, um, I don't, I think I would find April kind of creepy to me if she were a real person that played pranks on you with her baton um because you would just know something bad was gonna happen um and it might be funny but i think other times it might just be kind of frustrating and weird and something you wouldn't want to happen um so yeah that's kind of why i left her almost mime-like and maybe she can't talk maybe her maybe she's a mute and um her baton is just her way of communicating and just laughing um and having fun and if you saw i had a little run over of my blue and her eye of my watercolor because I kind of just left a huge puddle of blue in each of her eyes um, so I had to go back and fix that. And I pretty much just added designs to her outfit with my markers over the watercolor. I kind of just liked the colors to begin with and kind of embellished them, I guess you could say, with my illustrator markers. And that's my character design for April Fools. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you next time.